Okay. You have selected Trinimir. Mm-hmm. That is uh that is always a good option. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I- all right, so you're you're on the Garena server right now, right? Yep. This is all, right, so, all right, you're silver two on the server. Uh huh. All right, let's try to get silver one. So when I was in the Korean server, I was playing a lot of different top leaners like Darius, Garen, Maokai. Uh, but only when I play Trin, I feel like this champion is really comfortable. Not yeah. sure is it because I play 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 more games with him? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Jimmy's just really strong for solo Q2. That's true. Alright, you don't have to look at Malkai. You got me right here. I'm your I'm your you know, <laughs> your spreadsheet. You know, uh just make sure you got MR against Malkai. It's Malkai, okay. Ivern, Lux, Nami. Like they got a lot of magic damage. Alright, I want you to do the new setup this game. Uh, so you're gonna go SMG or first item, no team up. Okay. Into CDR boots. Okay. From there, you will get a Cloak of Agility into Rage Blade. The setup okay. is really good at taking down... I mean, literally killing everybody. But, like, you can kill tanks a lot earlier than you could with a previous build. Because in the previous build, you didn't get a lot of armor pen, right? But yeah. since Rage Blade not only does it help you with squishy targets, it also helps you against those tanky ones... Because that fifteen percent armor pen it has. Okay. That's really nice. Let's try it out. All right, don't worry, I'll guide you through the matchup. I know you're trying to get a refreshing up. Uh, Malkai's pretty simple, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, just know that, like, every time you spin on him, he's mm-hmm. going to, like, cue you back to disengage. So typically, mm-hmm. it's really important to try to start off the trade with uh, an auto attack. And then, after he cues you away, then re-engaging on him with your spin. Okay. To uh, extend the trade. Okay. It was low time though. Yeah, man. All right, long short refill. So uh, just you know, just like you know. Yeah, everything else is is basically the same. And SMG rush, you know, obviously most important. The CDR boots are going to be the only thing that's going to be like the the big difference. Mm-hmm. For early games, since you're not going to have early, uh, as much early attack speed without your lethal proc, that'll take mm-hmm. some getting used to. But you're actually going to end up with more attack speed with this build because you build into uh, Rage Blade. Okay. Yeah, I think Rage Blade fully stacked is uh, 78% attack speed, mm-hmm. whereas Stinger and Zerkers are 70% attack speed combined. Yeah, make sure, remember if, uh, like, you see no one's covering the bottom part of that red buff? Mm-hmm. Like, if no one's covering that, you need to guard it. Just go and check red, make sure Ivern's not starting it. Okay. And then walk down, and then walk back up to your lane. Yeah, and walk down to the other brush, and then walk up to lane.
All right, build up Fury. Focus a single minion. So hit that minion five times. Good. Now look to walk up and pressure Maokai. In the case where your laner has Aftershock, sometimes you want to wait until the Aftershock ends and then spin on him. Okay. Alright, shove this all the way in turret. Spin. Yeah, it's okay that he uh, knocks you back because you're just trying to get this crash in. Use Q. So right there, um, you could have used Q earlier and then rebuilt your Fury because you knew you weren't going to be able to uh, be pressuring him anymore, right? Right. And it looks like he uh, he did he took Yi's red buff. Everyone's probably bots out right now. You don't have to overcommit. Let the wave crash back towards you, man. D don't auto like that. Okay. Like try to bait Malkin to queuing you, but stay within your wave so that the wave pushes back to you. But when you just auto like that, you're ruining your wave positioning because you're getting it push push back towards him, right? Okay. So you want to set up an extended trade, just like you read on that spreadsheet right before this. So right there, you notice how you last hit that minion? Mm -hmm. Right? But yeah. that minion probably could have lasted another two to three seconds before you last hit it, right? Yeah. So last hit at the last possible second. Don't last hit when you're able to last hit. That's okay. a significant difference that you're going to have to understand if you're going to want to have better wave manipulation. Okay. So you see how Mach has no mana, but you're not able to punish since he's like so deep on his side of the lane. That's why mm -hmm. it's so important to get the wave shoving back towards you. Okay. Go ahead and crash the next wave. Because your wave is already shoving towards Maokai, you weren't able to manipulate it. So what you're going to do is you're going to balance it and then start the process over again. So crash as far as possible. Yeah, make sure you get those minions when you get out, because minions are the most important part. Like, because we already know it's going to be really hard for us to get a kill on Maokai in this position. Like, unless we had just spun in there and gotten, like, two or three crits in a row. Yeah, you can walk, uh, yeah, you can walk up and ward. I would ward that little brush right there. Here? No, 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 not that one. Uh, oh. that one. And then hit that trinket, you know, the the scrying orb, or scrying plant, whatever you call it. Okay. You know, so now Maka is just going to take it back. He's uh, Just go back to base. Go in a bush and go back to base. Because you're not able to uh, get any more pressure on him. He's just going to walk back again. Like, the wave's shoving back towards you right now, so you mm -hmm. don't need to touch it. And if you try to shove it in, Malkai would TP and maybe it could prevent you from shoving all the way in and keep you in lane and I'm disadvantage. We never want that. They're fine. Shove the wave. Like, oh. don't, don't spin in, but like try to get level 6 before he crashes. Ah, no, it's going to be too hard. You took too much damage already. Yeah, I got, like right there when you got back to the wave, I should have told you, but um, you should be, you should have been trying to thin out that wave as much as possible. Use Q again. And then you're going to rebuild your Fury here and set for an all-in. Ivern's bot side. We just saw him bot. Oh. oh you got to be more patient, man. 
I mean, you're, you're just smacking things, man. There we go. Right. Walk up, auto. Yeah. Auto. There you go. This is really good. Extend it. Oh, you hit the minion. Good. There you go. You back off, back off. You're good. You don't have to ignite him. So, in this case, like, Maokai is pretty durable, right? Yeah. It's really hard for you to kill him in one all-in. In fact, you should go get the plant right now. The healing plant. Yeah, it spawns between 6 and 6.30. Uh, let, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, so uh, because we didn't punish Maokai at all early on, mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of hard to kill him. So even though we're taking big extended trades, it won't be an all-in until you get him to about half HP. But the way you traded was perfect. Okay. Back off. You know Ivern's topside. You can't play aggressive. He's probably going to head mid since Victor's 1 HP, but like, build up Fury, thin the wave. Yeah, you just don't want to play like, aggressively into Malka, right? Back off, back off. You, yeah. Because we know we just saw Ivor on top side, we don't want to play aggressive. Right there, it was not worth for you getting that cannon for you to basically die. Oh! Yep. So, oh. in that case, it's actually worth for you to just give up the cannon there, man. Okay. Yeah, we'll go over this in a VOD review, and I'll show you the points where you, um, you messed up the wave, where you messed your, your kill opportunity on Maokai. But it's really important that you, like, uh, set, uh, set up the wave early. That way he doesn't get to that point where he can just, uh, build just a little bit of defense and not be all in, right? I should have pressed out. <clears throat> I didn't expect the best though. The last. Yeah, the W into the Q. Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you ulted, you probably killed him. But uh, that, I mean, that Maka was actually being a little bit silly there. Well, Fury. He's got Bramble. Belt Fury, Belt Fury. Use your potion. All right, when your lethal tempo's up, I want you to go aggressive. Go aggressive. Oh! Back off, back off. You missed your spin. And you used your uh, flash. Oh, you're dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you whiffed it, man. <laughs> but also, like, uh... uh... Okay, so yeah. against Maokai, man, mm -hmm. you can use your spin for a little bit of damage to extend the trade, and then if Maokai stays on top of you, then you go for the all-in. If he walks away after your spin, then you should, uh, you should just, like, take that as a big trade, right? Because it doesn't, like, like I said before, the trades don't necessarily have to lead to a straight ball-in, right? But you want to get as good of a trade as possible. So, typically, when Maokai cues you away, you spin on him to stick onto him as much as possible, even if you could stick onto him with just spins, with just your, uh, your movement. Mm -hmm. And then, um, at that point, uh, shove it in, man. Hard crush. Yeah, there's no reason to slow push here. Oh. Yeah, hard shove. I no 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 walk down. Oh Maokai's pushing or uh roaming mid. Yeah, let's take a plate. Maokai does have TP, he's not using it though. He's just shoving mid. This is really good for you. You're fine. Like, that's the correct move you're making. Like, trading gold there is is perfect for you, especially when you're behind. Mm -hmm. 
I really like that you were taking a look at uh you know like at what they were doing over there and checking their plating and stuff. I just get info to grab. Ivern top, just back off. Buy your SM Cheever. Buy your SM Cheever, get back to lane. So I mean you basically got like your SM like you got uh fourteen hundred gold. Mm -hmm. from Malachi just randomly roaming. Now, he did kill Victor. He did get the, the first blood turret mid. Yep. But he traded it for you getting a bunch of gold instead of him keeping you behind with his lead, right, Ben? Yep. Oh. Salsa's being real cute. Here, come here, Salsa. Are you just a cute one? Hmm? Yeah, make sure you're cute, man. I like what you're doing. Just shove up top. Okay, take frogs. Always focus the big one first. Thank you. Thorn mill. You got a thorn mill? Yeah. That's really good for you. Right now, no matter what he built, basically he would have been able to beat you, as long as there's some kind of armored tank item. But the fact that you got a thorn mill is going to be good when you get your rage blade. It's going to be a lot easier to kill him. Since he's going to be a lot less tanky. Mm -hmm. Flash. I have shut top. Their mid is missing. Who's their mid laner? Lux. Okay. Eh, she went down towards bot lane, so you're fine. You can take top turret here. Unless, I, yeah, Ivern's bottom too, so you're by yourself. Take top turret and then look to take any top jungle that you lose up for you. Oh, looks like he's taking everything. So take that turret and then take the uh, next wave. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. TP behind you, he's angry. <laughs> I see you got a tilt TP. No, 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 don't follow that. B. Bring him back. I mean, that, that guy's too tanky for you guys to kill him. Right. Sorry, the the Yi isn't very strong either. So, yeah, so right there, you get Cloak, right? And then you get, um, uh, sell your refill pot for, uh, for a pickaxe. Since daggers are easier to build up. Yeah, you're scaling up pretty nicely. Hey, your mastery is uh, kind of dying to Maokai, man. Oh wow, the Maka actually saved him. <laughs> back out, back out, back out. No, 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 no. Oh! Man, Dream does damage. Got an IE. I think if you okay. Q'd, you would have lived there. Oh. But yeah, you had a Q or ult. But yeah, I wouldn't chase Maokai there, because like you're basically chasing Maokai for the kill, right? And even if you oh. killed Maokai, there's a good chance that you die there. It, it would be okay. better for you to, like, like once you get to that point, just to go back towards top. Like, away from the fight. You want to farm up as much as possible. As soon as you get your Rage Blade, you'll be fine. But you gotta get to your Rage Blade. Okay. Are you headed, man? You should be headed top, right? Are you headed to fight with, like, one item? <laughs> That's not gonna be good, right? Go far. Yeah. Get some levels. You're not even level 12. Level 12 is when you get your spin maxed. There you go. That guy's bottom, so... It's probably Lux or Ivern coming topside. Which, you don't have to worry about either of them. Remember, if you're going to spin on the target, make sure you get the damage, too. You got, that was her, yeah, she had Zanya. All right, back up, get your, uh, recurve bow. You can stay and shove, actually. If you wanted. Okay, that's fine too. Like, once you saw the Lux didn't, like, walk up, you could've, like, kept her there. Push out mid. Are you looking to kill him, man? Just shove out mid. You don't have ult. You only got vision. So you're doing pretty good at, like, absorbing some information early on. But, like, now when it comes to the mid game, mm -hmm. uh, you're not absorbing information as well as you should. So, like, you're not looking around the map and, and double-checking things. Like, when the Maokai was fighting your remaster, you, you had no idea. W, you can spawn her. I think just spin flash on her and you could have killed her, man. Oh. Yeah, so, like, you spin at her, she flashes, you flash right after her, get that spin damage. And then you got that Nimbus Cloak, right? Mm -hmm. Give all the extra move speed. Make sure I always try to spin through the whole wave. I know you're a little bit worried about trying to get that cannon, but...
Hey man, it's okay to like spin through the wave like that. Because that's efficient. Uh -huh. But you gotta place your character in between the range minions and the melee minions. Because the melee minions are worth more gold than range. And a lot of times you're skipping out on the melee minion gold to go for the range minion gold. And then right there, focus a single melee minion, spin through the wave, hit the range minions until the melee minions are low enough to last hit, and then last hit them. I'll go over in the bot review. Uh, I think you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All good, man. You're just like... You're just panicking, like you saw it, Valkai, instead of just like walking away, you're like doing this like whole detour through his uh his jungle, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like what Vester you said. Save for ulti your mom? <laughs> uh, yeah, please kill her. Nice. I like that you spun to kill the Lux, but also spun towards the, uh, the Nami. Just spin... F like, if you know you're gonna uh, commit your flash there, just, um... Just spin flash on her, and you would have had her, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, when you're trying to make a big play happen, like, don't don't be afraid to commit your sums. Like, if you spun flash turn to the Nami, she died. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I did, I expect I had to flash, but... You I spun, I... and then you flashed. Yeah. It's like, when you know your spin is not in range to damage her, that's when you should know that you should have to flash. Damn. So Victor is holding on my feet. I mean, I mean, this is silver too, right? Like, nobody knows anything about what they're doing, realistically. That's true. Like, things they think they know, they've probably just heard from somebody else who probably doesn't know either. You can play aggressive here. Yeah, go, go, go. I would have spun through the whole wave onto them. That way you can get your Fury. Ben? Oh, you got spin on. Oh, she still got her. Get out. Spin away. Oh, you got his W. Rip. I think if you had spun immediately, man, and got. Oh, wait, actually, are you living? I don't, I don't think so. Ooh. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I think if you had spun through that minion wave onto those, uh, you know, those squishy targets when that Maokai uh -huh. had like zero mana, uh -huh. you'd get full fury there, and then you also are in spin range of that Nami to kill her. Oh, that's true. Yeah, just split bot. So we're going IE, IE next, right? Yep. Yeah, so the reason why we're doing this build is because the Trimmer uh, spin bug was fixed. Mm -hmm. So you can actually spin on your target as fast as you want, and it will deal damage every time. It's great. Oh. Remember, get that melee, man. You see how you're focusing all those ranged? Uh huh. Like, get, get that melee and then go on the ranged. So, I'm, I'm on this wave. Hit the melee? No, 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 no. Instead of hitting, like, you see how you hit the two melee minions? Hit uh -huh. the one melee minion twice, spin through the wave, and then go back and, uh, like, once the uh -huh. melees are low enough to last hit, then you go back and last hit. Okay. But, like, when you. Uh, you're fine. Just. Yeah, let's spin through. There you go. Now focus on melee. Spin. Good. That's all better. What? 
No, you're fine. You're fine. Just take their red. Take their Krugs. Take their red. I, I mean, they can't end the game here because they got no minions, right? Yep. Hang on to what they're doing. Go take red. Lux is around, so make sure you use ton of damage. Oh. It's back. Actually, um... You can set for a pick there. Put that pink part down. Oh, they're going towards Baron, maybe? Go mid. Push out mid. And be careful, they're all there. Uh, back, just back, just back. Uh, spin away. There you go, you're fine. Spin over the wall. Spin over the wall. Spin. Oh, 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 not that, not that wall, but the 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 one right above you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where'd your ulti go? Hmm? When'd you use your ulti? I don't remember. Oh, I I, I, I was like, wait, where's your ulti? Go push up mid. Make sure you check on what's going on there, man. Like, what the skills are they using? You're just looking at your character, right? You gotta make sure you absorb as much information as possible. Okay. Alright, back off. Buy BS Sword. Because zero can end, right? Mm All right, it's been flashed in now. Get in there. Okay. Well, you got it. Took one with you. Unfortunately, like, um, I mean, your whole team lost pretty hard. I mean, it's forty-three kills to fourteen, right? And on yeah. top of that, you didn't have impact on the game because you lost to Malkai when you you right. should be crushing him early. Like, right. that's a champion that skills really hard in team fights going later in the game, so you have to beat him early. But we'll take a look at the bot review. Rip promos. Come on, we'll get you back. Oh, damn. That was bad, man. All right.